This is my guide to buying your first GoPro. Let's get into it. Righto, I have two GoPros for you here, for you guys today. These are the ones that I use in a lot of my videos. Um, I've been through a lot of them. They're quite the handy little bit of camera equipment. The GoPro is for those action sports, because that's what it is. It's an action sports camera. You know, it's just one of those things you can throw in the bag and set and forget kind of thing. They are pretty handy bit of kit. So today we're gonna go through a few things. Um, give you a bit of information on the GoPros I use and maybe might make a choice of what, which GoPro you would like to buy. So there's a, again guys, there's some benefits to buying second hand and there's some benefits to buying new. Benefits of buying second hand, you can get a good deal. You can get a couple of these GoPro 7s for the same price as what you would get for this GoPro 10. Um, GoPro 7s are, I think, still good. Still good in 2023, they shoot 4K, but they shoot 2.7K at 100 frames per second. If you don't understand what that means, it just means per second there's 100 frames in this. So these, even the GoPro 7, is great for slow motion footage. Now, some of the benefits of buying new, buying a brand new GoPro, and I think that's from GoPro 8 onwards, you can buy from the site now. You sign yourself a subscription fee for the GoPro. I think I paid 60 bucks a year. And essentially, like the DJI Refresher Care, as long as you can bring them the GoPro, they will replace it for a small fee. I'm not sure what that has, is yet, because I haven't broke mine, but um, that's definitely something to work, uh, worth knowing that as long as you can bring it in or send it into GoPro. I actually had one of the lenses break uh, the, the OG lens for this break on me, um, as well as I lost the dead cat for my audio mic, uh, my Media Pro mod, and I just messaged GoPro, sent them, them, sent them my details, obviously I was subscribed to the membership, and they just sent me free stuff. So they sent me a new lens and two new dead cats, which was stoked. Like, that's what you pay that subscription for. Um, the GoPro 10 has its benefits. It's obviously its predecessor. The, the 7, it is good. Obviously, the Go 10, uh, GoPro 10 is better. But, if you have no idea about camera stuff, essentially, you wouldn't know the difference between the two. Which one would you want to buy? I think anything from GoPro 7 up until the latest ones now are good enough for these day and age. You can definitely pick these up for a steal on Marketplace or eBay, guys. So keep an eye out if that's something you want to do. Anything from GoPro 7 Black, don't get the 7 Grey because you can't put new batteries in it. Um, you can't interchange. It's pretty just a sealed unit. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying them because these things can chew a lot of battery. So... Which brings me to my next point, batteries. Don't even bother buying the cheap batteries. Don't let it entice you in buying the cheap batteries. I think Wasabi is a brand. Uh, look guys, the GoPro batteries are cheap enough these days to buy the OG batteries for any GoPro. They're pretty much the same price difference that they are better build quality for your GoPro. I have had the cheaper ones. They do not last as long and I've just had to throw them out. And since I bought the actual GoPro OG batteries, I don't really have dramas with the batteries for my GoPros. Now, there's plenty of accessories. There's some accessories that I will show you guys in a second. One of them is aluminium GoPro mount. These things are really, really good, mainly because they're made out of aluminium. And they won't rust and they won't, you know, break as easily. I've had so many plastic, plastic GoPro accessories just snap. And I bought them cheaply off eBay, rightly so, as everyone would. But 
These ones here, I'll leave a link in the description um, below that you can get them off eBay. They are worth their weight in gold. As well as these other extension arms for the GoPro. They are made out of aluminium as well. They're two little accessories that I would highly recommend, mainly because they will last. There's so many more accessories. We're going to touch on a couple today. Um, one, so another little um, accessory is the ND filter, guys. I run these on a lot of my cameras. These are the Polar Pro ones. Um, that, that runs an ND8, like I said. And a couple other videos the ND filter is just sunglasses for your camera and we all know how good sunglasses are in the light so why not give one for your camera really um, there's plenty of mounts there's plenty of selfie sticks out there just got to find the good ones ones that I would recommend anything that's got some sort of aluminium or stainless steel small rig makes some good ones um, PGY tech makes some good ones um, there's a lot of good accessories out there just go look for them, really. Find out the ones, but I definitely recommend any of them that have got aluminium in it or stainless steel. They are the ones that you want to have in your GoPro accessory mounts. Another good accessory is the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is, essentially, I'm gonna say it, it's for us fishing, it's, it's for the fishermen guys, you know, guys who wanna do a bit of bushwalk, but even then, just to get that different view for your videos, you can't go wrong with this. It's pretty, essentially just a snorkel mouthpiece with a GoPro attachment on the end. You stick it in your mouth like this and you get a different but cool perspective for your video. So, here's some settings that I would like to give you guys to run. Again, this is for the very, very basic to get you started, not to worry about it, until you learn more about your camera itself. You want to leave everything on auto. Honestly, it's just so much easier just to leave it on auto. I don't personally because as I've said in a couple other videos or I will say in a couple other videos that I'm constantly changing my settings on the fly but with the GoPro 10, you get four settings in your main menu. You can choose different ones. I would recommend you do a super slow motion one which will be like a 200 frames per second. I think it maxes out at 2.7K. And then if you want another couple of settings, you probably just want some settings for general use, uh, which is about 20 fra 25 frames a second. But leave everything else on auto, you can't go wrong. Another recommendation I can make is the GoPro accessories are good. I'm trying to get in the camera. I'm trying to get in my shot, bruh. GoPro's waterproof. We all know they're waterproof, but it doesn't help to. Uh, it does help if you get yourself one of those cases to get some good shots underwater. I will probably go over a few other accessories, or maybe when I in, when I get them myself, I will uh, show you guys on how I use some of these um, accessories. There's, there's too many with the GoPro. There's too many accessories to name. There's a lot out there, but all I can suggest is that you buy ones that are made of aluminium or stainless steel because they will last and they're worth their weight in gold. Um, so, which one do I buy? Which, again, it all comes down to budget. All of these videos will come down to budget. Now, like I said, you can pick up a couple of these GoPro 7s for a good deal on Marketplace or eBay for the same price you would pay for one of these uh, GoPro 10s, but buying the GoPro 10 from GoPro, you actually get that subscriber uh, insurance for your GoPro. So that's a benefit of buying that, and that's a benefit of buying secondhand. Both are equally just as good for the humble beginner. Now, obviously, if you get more advanced or you get a little bit more knowledge about what you're doing, you're gonna change, and this video is not gonna be for you, but Essentially, like I said at the start of this video is for the beginner basics. That's why I'm trying not to dive too much into it. I just want to give you guys some good information, some good things to look for. Um, GoPros are pretty indestructible. Um, this GoPro 7 Black, I took it to Cape York and I didn't have the cover over the charging ports and it still works. So, <laughs> go figure. They are a tough bit of kit. So... 
In conclusion, guys, GoPros, they are worth their weight. Um, they are a good camera to start out, especially guys who do a lot of, uh, a lot of families that do outdoor stuff. They've got an app called the GoPro Quick App. Now you can edit your videos onto that app, which it's so simple. You literally throw all your videos onto the GoPro app itself, which is easily downloaded from gopro.com. Now, once you've done that, you load your GoPro footage into your computer. It sorts it all out for you. And not only that, you select the videos you want, a part of your little clip, and it actually has, the GoPro app on the website actually has a little video editing software, easy to use. You pick your videos, you throw it in, it cuts it all together for you with some cool music, and you get yourself a little video. That's the beginning of it. And then as you get better and better, you learn more and more about it, you'll learn other tricks and tips as well. But I can highly recommend, get yourself some ND filters, get yourself some good steel, aluminium, stainless steel mounts, and one of these. The footage in these are real super stable. You can't go wrong. GoPro. Again, guys, if you find value from these little videos that I've made, just to help you capture those good, wholesome shots when you're out on holidays or on the weekends, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment if there's any other little products you want me to test or want me to uh, suss out or give you some information more about. If there's more information about the GoPro you think I need to dive in more about it, please drop a comment below into the comment section. See you later.